All right, gang, here's another one of the race tracks that I picked up a while back in that lot. Uh, picked up 10 race tracks and a bunch of cars. Actually, let's just say eight race tracks and two extra tracks for parts. This is the TCR racing van jams. It comes with two vans, look like both look like Fords and a Dodge jam truck. Now, when I did the video of all the slot cars, I had the uh, two Mustangs and the Pinto. There's your two Mustangs and the Pinto on the cover out of this box. It shows the car, how it's put together and all that good stuff. And then it shows how to operate the controller on the box. And then it tells you, uh, shows you the track. I'm a fan of the oval track. That's that's the kind of racing I liked when I was a kid. And uh, the two vans and the Dodge pickup. The truck on the cover art is blue, but the jam truck is actually yellow. The, uh, have a, another, a better jam truck in the collection of slot cars. The one here is missing the roll bar. If I said it was missing the stacks in the previous video, I apologize for the error. The box is in bad shape, uh, but at least it's there. And let's flip it, and so let me see the end. It it shows you about the uh, how to assemble the track, and then it gives you a shot of the portion of the track where you plug in the controllers and the uh, power pack, the terminal track. And this is made by Ideal. All right, so there's all the track. Now there's one piece that I think it's a straight piece. I've got to get a replacement for. Uh, some of the connectors on it is, are damaged, basically broke off, but other than that, the track is perfect. Uh, the track did come with a bunch of decals stuck to it. You got STP, Monroe shocks, uh, this one here has Pepsi on it. And the start finish terminal track, it also has a Pepsi decal on it. And the start finish area. There's the power pack, oh, and I put all the power pack and the controllers and all in these little Ziploc bags to try to keep all the cords from getting all tangled up. Uh, this track actually, uh, I think it came with extra track as well because none of the track does not go into the box as you figure it, it would. Now these controllers got an orange and a gray, and on the back it has a switch that will uh, help you, that will let you change the direction of the car. Or I'm sorry, the lane of the car. And like I said, they work, everything works. The track needs a, a better cleaning than what I gave it. Basically, I just wiped it down and uh, I didn't put the whole track together. I just stuck a lot, uh, several of the straight pieces and to see if the cars worked and they, and the truck runs, it's it's shabby i mean I, that's the best word to use for it it's in horrible shape the black van does not work and the yellow van does so let's check out the vans in the truck all right so we're going to start out with the truck as you see the the well the all the tires on the truck well pretty much all these uh all three of these and they need to be replaced and i just got to get them ordered and replacement tires are a little steep, uh, but I'm gonna get them anyway. Uh, the, the chassis is a little loose on this. Apparently, I didn't tighten it back up when I cleaned them up. Uh, these, all these cars in this set, they had a lot, a lot of, I guess, pet hair, carpet fiber, you name it, it was in there. There's a picture of the uh, shot of the front, and it does resemble the Dodge from 73, my favorite body style, step side. Roll bar is missing. This is one, I can't tell you why, I just didn't take and clean it up better, or clean it, period. The tonneau is covered in dirt. Uh, while I had the body off, I should have taken it and uh, put it in some soap, dish soap, and cleaned the body. Not the entire car, but I didn't. Uh, but the only thing that's missing on this truck is the roll bar. 
Uh, I, li I like the truck. It's a good looking truck. I wish I had the blue one like on the box, but, and I actually saw one on eBay and I was gonna bid on it, but I never did because I just did not need to get another. I always say this, I didn't need another st uh, uh, collection of stuff, but here, here we go again. All right, if you grew up in the 70s <clears throat> or if you drove a, a van in the 70s, there's a good chance you, you had a customized van, knew somebody had one, but these are customized vans. Got a semi truck on the side, got a diamond window. I never care for porthole windows, I just like the panel vans. Uh, you see it, the condition of the tires. I mean, they are horrible. Shrinking, cracking. Uh, but this one, as I said, doesn't didn't run, and this has got a customized grill in it, which was, gosh, my fingers are in the way, which was uh, not an uncommon thing back then to people to change out their grills to uh, customize grills and all. But you can actually see Ford on the hood. It's got air horns on the roof mud flaps you know it, all the decals are on it's the body's in <clears throat> fair shape excuse me <clears throat> the pollen's getting to me and it's early in the morning the chrome is wearing loose on it wearing loose is wearing off of the grill but these were played with these were operated now here's the yellow van a little bit different uh, does look like the kind of line grill Let's see if we get uh, I don't know if it's gonna come out. In the black, you can see letters. I'm trying to get it where. Uh, maybe. Maybe there's not letters on this one. Th those might be hood pins on this one. The the black one had Ford on it. The yellow one. Those are hood pins. Wow, I just noticed that. Anyway. This one uh, actually runs, and when I say run, it's not going to run with these bad tires. None of these cars are. Uh, I put them on the track, gave them the juice, and you could hear the motor going. And basically what I would do is I hung them off the end of the track so the wheels wouldn't start gripping and uh, just let them run. And, and like all these old electric toys, the more it ran, the better they got. This one has a ladder on the back, the mud flaps, and a luggage rack on the roof, sunroof on the top. Again, they, these are old, original to the set. This, I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I was trying to hold off on that and I couldn't do that. That pollen is getting to me today. But this set, I really want to get uh, the broken piece of track i want to get new rubber tire or actually you know like everything else technology's gotten fantastic you can get silicone tires for these uh slot cars now which helps them hold to the track better i'm gonna get those silicone tires replacement for these three and then the the two mustang twos i have in the uh pinto so that we can now my, I'm gonna get get it put together. My little brother and I are gonna run these things, just to just have fun. He'll like it. Now I, I always I, I wish I would stop doing this. I say everything is a uh, is complete. I don't have any paperwork for this track at all. So I'm wrong there. It's not a hundred percent complete, but for the age, uh, it's almost complete and it's a pretty good shape. I'm going to try to get the black van running. If I can't, I'll probably hunt down a replacement if I can get one at a fair price. Or maybe just another car and just swap the bodies. But we'll see how that works out. But that's the TCR Racing Vans. It's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Short video. I'm going to try to keep them under 10 minutes, but we'll see how that works out because i got a couple other tracks I really, really do like. And when I do those videos, they make over 10. Thanks for viewing, guys.